Today we're going to update the changes the way Vanguard Royale is played. It might be a subtle change, but it's going to be a significant change when it comes to weapon choice. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button. Go on today's video is 10,000 likes. Hopefully you guys can help me crush that number. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, subscribe with notifications on. Since coming March 3rd, we have been happy with the response to Vanguard Royale LTM. I think this is the first time they refer to it as an LTM. It is one of those trial modes that continues to evolve and change as more of a testing ground. So if you like it, I would play the heck out of this particular mode if you're not liking it then i would just play the standard battle royale or play rebirth island or plunder or clash or whatever you else you want to play but if you like this i would invest time in it because that's what they're tracking to know if people like it not just because i say oh it's a cool mode they're gonna they're gonna push it no that's not how it works they look at their data yep people are playing this mode let's keep these particular changes as they happen so and are releasing further balancing refinements this week based on your feedback on the gameplay experience to date when vanguard royale re-enters the playlist rotation for all squad sizes tomorrow which ends up being today march 3rd you can expect the following changes core player health will be increased to 150 up from 100 they didn't modify any of the other stuff like iron trials where you your stim and it heals differently and they didn't modify any of those mechanics how long it takes to regenerate health they didn't modify those so it is still going to be a little bit different and so including armor players will now have a pull of 300 up from 250 50 doesn't sound like a huge deal but when we look at the the data on the TTKs, it's a huge difference and it kind of pushes which weapons are actually meta, especially on the long range. There's going to be a lot of great options. Uh, they brought UAVs back. Uh, they took them out um, and they're completely. Now they're back in or unless you did a contract or a running kill chain. Um, and now they're going to be 9,000 up from 6,000, which... Uh, there's a lot of money to go around. We'll see how that balances out. So we have the submachine gun Charlie, which I believe is the MP40. No one was really using that barrel, but now it has correct multipliers. Light machine gun Charlie is the Bren. They fixed the barrel that I talked about. Um, they already kind of knew about it, I guess, and now it, it does what it's supposed to. Um, so I think most people will be switching to that bottom barrel. And then they nerfed the XM4. Neck damage multiplier decreased down to 1.33 down from 1.5 so basically now it matches chest instead of matching the head so it won't feel as melty even though that's a minor difference when you hit your shots with that gun it melts so this is a quick explanation of how this impacts ttk and every weapon is going to be slightly different so i put this little thing right here we have the boxes with the damage profiles here and every weapon has different damages depending if it's close medium long whether smg long range or whatever rifle that they have different damage values and that's going to determine how it impacts the TTK. What we see here is if a weapon does low damage, um, like 16, 17, 18, for example, um, the difference in changing the shots from 250 health up to 300 with the 50 difference from fully plated, uh, you end up going from 16 shots up to 19 because these round up. And then that's a three different shots. And depending on the RPM, that'll impact the, the TTK. So if this was a thousand RPM because it was fast firing, you're going to change the TTK by 180 milliseconds, which is like a third of the TTK. That's, that's a huge amount that you're changing it by. If you manage to do 19 damage, it's only going to change the shots to kill by two. It's going to go from 14 up to 16. Um, and then we have certain scenarios just because of how the math works out. If you have a weapon that does 30 and 31 damage, they're only going to increase by one shot. And then they end up with a different value here. More often than not, there's going to be these weapons that kind of rise up and other ones that fall because of this part. I want to explain this part because when you look at the TTKs, it's like, well, why is that? That's how it changes to factor in this TTK. There are obviously faster TTKs you can build, but generally those builds are a little bit impractical for a couple different reasons. One is recoil. Uh, the other is because of the damage per mag. It doesn't allow you to take on multiple people. And that's something maybe we'd recommend for something like a smaller game mode, like solos or duos. But once you start getting into trios and quads, you end up into a tricky situation where you're going to get caught reloading and you do zero damage per second when you're reloading. Just as a little point here, uh, that's why I have this here, just as a reminder, if you end up reloading and you caught reloading, you cannot deal damage. Um, 
So if a gun forces you to reload more often, you put yourself in harm's way and you have to play situations differently. Not that you can't do it. It's just that those systems will arise where, oh, I got to reload now. And you want to avoid that at all costs. So what we have here is the Type 100 still gets a ridiculously fast TTK at pretty much all close ranges. But the recoil is a little bit hard to manage. And 1500, if you're perfect, you could down four players. And you hit all the perfect shots, and they are within your range, and you do not, not miss. You can actually take them down. High skilled player could pull this gun up, but that's like a 90% accuracy. When you're talking about a weapon that only has a 40 round mag, you're like you, you, you kind of end up in a bad spot or 48 or whatever it is. We'll look at the class setups. And then we got the Vanguard PPSH. Still pretty good option. Damage per mag, not that great, relatively close. We're seeing a lot of the, the Vanguard weapons kind of within that range. The Owen gun, even though it's TTK is just a little bit slower, we can see that it does consistent damage up to a decent range, but it's also its damage per mag is heavy uh, in terms of being able to have a little bit more forgiving. You can actually take on four people probably comfortably, um, but if you're playing solos, it might be a little excessive and you might want to go with the Van Vanguard PPSH, build it more like a, an SMG build instead of a hip fire build because you can't be affording, you can't afford to be missing shots with these builds um, because of the extra TTK. It's going to add a shot or two. You end up in some wonky scenarios. The well gun, you can see I've also highlighted it is also another one that I think is going to be a standout. Like I said, there are other options that you can have better TTKs but you end up with scenarios where it's either hard to control or the damage per mag just isn't really all that viable outside of solos. Like the AS Valve for a while, really can only use it in solos and they nerfed it and then now there's better options, but it kind of gives you an example there. Then we have the Tommy gun, which is kind of good on the ammo side because you can have a 100 round mag, but it just doesn't kill that fast. And we're specifically focusing on the long range TTK. So pretty much all the engagements you'll go ahead and take at range um, are gonna be with these. And you can see that these TTKs are fairly even up until about the STG. Obviously the MG42 has a really good TTK and all these LMGs have bigger mags. And that's what accounts for uh, the damage per mag, you're going to end up being a little bit slower, sluggish, long reloads, um, and you end up with the, some scenarios here. So the automaton, even though it has a 70 round mag, 75 or whatever, it's only 1500 damage per mag, which is right there with the STG. We got the Whitley is an LMG that actually might be really good in this mode based off the TTK. And it's, it's can be difficult to use though, because the recoil, you're not going to pull that off. Bren did get nerfed, but it's TTK is still phenomenal. DP 27, really good option. I mean, so you got a lot to choose from here. Type 11 is really good with the 90 round mag, uh, but MG 42, you can see that thing melts if you build it for like the M13 low recoil style build where it's just a hit marker machine. You can still manage to pull stuff off because 2200 damage pretty good considering you know if you're pretty accurate so let's go ahead and look at some builds and hopefully you guys enjoy the mode so we'll start off with the well gun we got recoil booster we got the hawkinson 43 and this just makes it so you get consistent damage you're not going to hit a headshot multiplier so just aim for the body and the ttk will match what i showed on that chart uh, we have the slate reflector remove stock leather grip acrobatic quick and then we got the 64 round mag just because of the damage difference damage per mag um 48 is still going to be good but i think that the 64 four round is going to be give you those extra 16 bullets that will allow you to be more consistent in trios and quads but go ahead and pick and choose which one works best based off your game mode type so for the owen gun we're using recoil booster we're using the hawkinson rapid the slay reflector with the 2.5x but you put in the reflex so you change the view we got remove stock steady quick polymer hand stop and a hollow point then when it comes to the magazine it's kind of really a matter of preference the garanko the 60 round and the nine millimeter 72 round are all relatively close in terms of TTK. The best damage per mag is probably going to be this bottom one, but the 60 round is going to be a little bit more inconsistent based off the damage profile. So what choose what makes the most sense. All three are great options with the other combo of attachments. So for the Vanguard PPSH, we got Recoil Booster, Kevlaskaya, uh, Slate Reflector, Skeletal or remove stock. Uh, we have tight grip that helps with overall recoil. Uh, quick fabric grip. And then I like the Garenko because of the damage and range difference. Even though technically the Nambo gives you a little bit faster rate of fire, I prefer having the Garenko, especially since the fate rate of fire is insane anyways. Hollow point and then the Mark VI Skeletal. So type 100, just an insane fire rate. Probably not as practical to hit all the shots, even though you can get a ridiculous TTK, but you got the Recoil Booster, the Warabachi 130 
34 Rapid, Slate Reflector, Sakura, and then we have Gung Ho, Quick, Pine Tar, 48 Round Drum, Hollow Point, and then the Carver Foregrip. So for the MG42, it is an LMG, so it's gonna be a little bit slower. We're rocking the MX Silencer. We got this third barrel because of the bullet velocity, range, all that good stuff. We got the 3.8 and a 6X because that's kind of the meta optic. We're using this particular one for the recoil accuracy, all those good things. It's gonna be a little bit slower, tight grip. So you're not missing with this thing. It has an insane fire rate. You don't wanna just burn through bullets. It does have a feel of like the M13, but a little bit slower. Obviously, with having a bigger mag, you can go that route. Polymer for recoil as well. And if you feel like it shoots too straight and you want to go ahead and speed down the aim down sight, you can actually swap out one of these attachments to have a little bit better aim down sight, but still being able to hit your shots. Lengthen, hand stop, and then I really wouldn't go ahead and change the mag unless you want to rock the 50 fast, but then that kind of defeats the purpose because this thing is a pea shooter at range. It just shoots stupid fast and you need a bigger mag. So you either rock the default or you go with the 250 round box and just you're going to be a little bit slower and have this huge thing that you should be able to take out full six seven players but but without having any issues so Bren's a little bit of a weird spot because they did fix the barrel and it kind of has an issue with the only using that 40 round mag is not going to be all that practical so we're going to use the mercury silencer this bottom one because of the bullet velocity range recoil all those good things three to six x optic because of the meta part of it um the hawkinson you could use the oak and uh shield padded those are kind of the main two um and then we got tight grip for the recoil on hand, fully loaded, whatever, polymer. And then the 100 round, which is going to be pretty solid. These other ones really won't take care of you damage per mag or they have a little bit too much recoil. The 100 round is perfectly fine to go that right. So for the DP27, we're going to go with the MX Silencer, the Kovaleskaya uh, barrel because of the things we mentioned already, the 3 to 6X. Uh, we got the Empress hard scope because that's really the only one that's going to super help you out with making sure you don't miss your shots. Fully loaded polymer. We're using the 105 round. This gives you a ridiculously good TTK. Uh, we're not going to use FMJ. We're going to use Lengthen and we've got Hand Stop. So for the Whitley, we'd use the MX Silencer, the Ragdoll. We got the 3 to 6X, the CGC R4 hard scope, fully loaded. I would have polymer, but it is like the last grip uh, at level 63. Stippled grip is what I'm using now. And then I'd use this last one uh, because the TTK is still good and that gives you the chance to control the recoil. And we don't go with the 45 because your damage per mag is atrocious as well as the bullet velocity. So we got to go ahead and kind of stick with the other options. And then hand stop and lengthen. And last but not least, the automaton is the MX silencer, the Anastasia sniper, the 36 x the Anastasia padded, tight grip, fully loaded polymer, Sakura 75 lengthen and hand stop obviously there are a few other weapons to choose from but these are probably gonna be the top five in each category top four top five hopefully you guys enjoyed the mode appreciate all the support thank you for watching as always have a great day